everybody's at home, quarantined. We're trying to find things to keep ourselves busy. And lucky for me, the Food Network on Twitter, they challenged me to an at-home chop challenge. So Campbell and Callan, they picked four ingredients and they put it in this makeshift basket. And lucky for me, I have a good friend of mine who's gonna start this whole thing off for me. I've got Ted Allen over here. Come over here and say hi, Ted. Hey guys, how you doing? Everybody needs something to do, and everybody needs something to eat. So let's do this. Oh boy. Swap. And baked Cheetos. Okay, I have eggs, tuna, tortilla chips with lime and clementines. We got chicken thighs, strawberries, the obligatory red onion. Thanks, girls. Okay. Oh, so here we have not mayo, but tangy dressing, aka Miracle Whip, and gluten-free, gluten-free bread. Free um, pretzels. pretzels, yeah. Mm. So we have two unripe tomatoes, we have a bowl of seasoned panko, we have cashew queso. What? And we have chicken livers. Wait, tell me the rules again, Ted, I forgot. Well, the rules are, Mark, you must use every ingredient in that basket in some special way. And that, you know, celebrate those ingredients. Oh, boy. <laughs> Um, right now, I think I'm gonna start by trying to make a little sauce with the bones. Okay, I'm draining the tuna. I'm gonna make this into like a crab cake. Tuna cake. I think I'm gonna do a chicken sandwich. So I'm gonna crust the chicken with the corn flakes and some panko. I'm gonna pickle the, um, the strawberries and I'm gonna make some kind of a pickled slaw also from the red onions. Potatoes are cooking. My sauce, so I'm making a harissa squab sauce with a little bit of chicken broth. All right, mom, how you doing? I'm panicking. What are you doing? I'm making some tomato jam with the underripe tomatoes. Everybody in America has underripe tomatoes at their supermarket. I'm cooking them down with a little sugar, red pepper flakes and balsamic to make like a little tomato kind of jam. <laughs> okay. I have this beautiful slaw. It's a combination of cabbage, those pickled onions that I had, a little bit of um, some lettuce inside there, a little bit of cilantro as well. So I'm dicing up my fresh cucumber. Then I'm gonna dice up the pickles and put them together so they can party together. You could skip the pickles and just use the pickle brine in your dish if you wanted to. Very chopped move. Yeah, I'm going for it, Ted. I'm going for it. I'm pan frying my panko breaded chicken livers really quick, kind of slow and low, and then I'm gonna get them with a tomato jam and my queso vinaigrette. Am I gonna get chopped or not? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, clementine zest, because I have to. I'm gonna go with a splash of hot sauce. I'm gonna make a sauce and that'll connect all those flavors. The chicken is cooking with the rosemary, a little bit of the garlic inside there. We're deep frying it. Look at that beautiful crust. Oh my God. Oh my God, this makes me so happy. Look, Ted, I oh, covered the that's... potatoes with the Cheeto. The radioactive potatoes, I love it. I'm gonna give the tuna cake a little bit of lemon because I love that acid. That'll bring out the clementine even more. So what I've made for you, a tuna cake with tortilla lime chips, eggs, clementine. I have the chicken. You see the chicken, it is fried with beautiful rosemary, a little bit of garlic. I have this salad with the pickled red onions here. And then I have these strawberries that I've pickled with some red vinegar. All right, I got this queso vinaigrette and then I have this unripe tomato jam, and I panko breaded the chicken livers and sauteed Five, them in a little bit of olive four, oil. Am I, oh my God. Three, two, one, hands up. Very nice job. So what I did is I made a, um, I buzzed up the gluten-free pretzels with some Parmesan cheese and some rosemary, and made a rosemary crusted asparagus, and underneath is a Miracle Whip pesto sauce. And in the middle here I have the sprout, tomato, avocado, salsa. And over here we have, I took the coffee and I braised this. This is coffee braised sausage and peppers with olives, basil, and uh, a sugo tomato sauce. 
I am hoping that they like it. I hope that I do not get chopped. What we have in front of you um, is a rice and potato croquette uh, with a mango, jelly bean, chutney, and an apple mango slaw. It's very good, but the only thing that puts me kind of off, it's a bit dry, a bit, just a bit. I think you've brought the signature flavors of Manit Jahan over here. Let us reveal that no one has been chopped. <laughs> the sausage is cooked perfectly and I like how he uses some peppers. Yep, me too. Um, I like the idea he did. Alex, what do you think, George? Good, I like it. I think we have an obvious decision. Chef Jeffrey Zakarian, you are not chopped. Oh, thank you, everybody.